It's an interesting story because I went to America and I went, uh, I got on the train uh, and went out to a famous dairy store uh, and uh, the in, engraved on the entrance was rule one, the customer's always right. Rule two, if the customer's wrong, reread rule one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Guy Harwood. I'm chairman of Harwood's Garages. So Harwood's Garages were formed by my father in 1931 at Pulborough uh, and then developed into Petworth before the war. During the war there was no garages so the, my father developed a munition factory which morphed into an engineering company which after the war used to make heat exchanges for the petrochemical industry. Uh, I was part of this, I joined it in 1959 uh, and uh, then in 1965 we sold the uh, engineering business called Spiragills and we went, uh, I was going, my father was going to develop the garage business but he fell ill and died so I became the chairman of Harwood's Garages at that juncture. At the same time I set up Coomelands Racing Stables uh, in Pulborough here where we are today uh, <coughs> and uh, also ran the garage business. Uh, then in 1992 my daughter took over Coomelands Racing Stables from me and I became full-time in the motor business and then we started to redevelop the garage business into the business it is today. Uh, my father, uh, when I was a young man, my father was very friendly with all the local farmers and when I was around 14 years old I started riding out for Ryan, Captain Ryan Price who was then training at Finland, very very fine trainer with a great war record. Uh, and from the moment I started riding out there in my early early teens, I really became enamoured with the racing business and didn't and always had a, lo, uh, a, a wish and a will to become a racehorse trainer. So that when we sold Spiragills in 1965, uh, I set up my own racing business here at Coomlands uh, and built the the stables and the gallops on the Coomlands land. Uh, and was very fortunate we trained 250 jumping winners uh, and around 1500 flat race winners uh, including a really great horse called Dancing Brave. He was absolutely outstanding. The reason why he was so considered to be so good compared to all the other good horses I trained was that he could he was a champion at every distance uh, and he won the Arc de Triomphe in 1986 in Paris which was it is the pinnacle race of the European racing calendar on the flat uh, and then in 1992 my daughter Amanda Perrett took over from me here and I went back and, and redeveloped with Glen Woodage the race the uh, uh, the garage business starting at Pulborough and then developing across West Sussex, Kent, Surrey uh, and Hampshire. My father started the motor business, uh, Harwood's motor business, in 1931 at Pulborough with a, a handful of employees. Uh, he was the principal, he was the salesman, manager, workshop manager. Uh, uh, he was himself a technician uh, and, and an engineer. Uh, and it developed gradually uh, uh, until 1992 when we probably employed around about 50 people. Uh, and now it's grown uh, over the years and we employ full-time 900 people uh, in the motor business in, in, in the southeast of England. The greatest challenges I found in, was in, in leaving the, the horse business and developing into the motor business were qu two quite different businesses. The other great challenge was the develop, learning how to run a business and that was greatly helped by working for APV when we sold Sparagills and learning about monthly accounts and how it all works. So really the finances of running a business were the greatest challenge that I faced, particularly when I joined Harwoods from the racing business.
So there's been so many highlights in my life. I'm 78 years old now uh, and the great thing has been training really good horses has been a wonderful experience. Uh, developing Harwood's Garage has been most exciting, a terrific highlight of my life. And now, of course, Archie uh, is going to take over the Harbour's garages in the next couple of years, uh, and we ought to pop in the car and go down and see him at the garage. I've very much enjoyed spending time talking to you uh, and now it's uh, handing over to Archie. Archie, have you got anything for me before I go or is it, well, we are we all done? I think we're all done. Good. Uh, I shall look forward to seeing all the good news. So a bit about me, I'm obviously Guy's son and future successor. I'm now a director of the business. I'm 28 this year and I will have been involved with the business for nearly 25 years if you go right back to the start. So obviously at three I wasn't much use and I'm hoping that's improved since then. Um, but being a family business as you would expect, I've grown up around the business, cleaning cars, answering phones, making a general nuisance of myself. and. After I left college, uh, I joined our Croydon branch as a service advisor where I worked for 18 months. Following on from that, I went on to set up our group internal contact centre which supports our service departments with in inbound and outbound service bookings. And uh, following that, a spell in marketing, IT and finance. In the business today, we talk about creating memorable experiences. This is our vision statement and is underpinned by our values. To treasure our people and customers, to grow and improve, to grab responsibility, to run in the same direction as one team, and to inject some energy and fun into our work. So things got really interesting in around 2012 when I was appointed as a director of the board and I guess formally made my decision to join the family business for the long term. On behalf of me, my family and colleagues, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about Harwoods and we hope to hear from you soon.